first up, we have Alan Martinez. Alan, you want to make your way up here of JS Bit, and he's going to be talking about bear market opportunities, a very important topic for the times. I got it. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Erica. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Pleasure to be here. How are you guys feeling today? Okay, okay. A little bit louder. Let's do it one more time. How are you guys feeling today? There you go. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Today, we're going to be talking about a bear market opportunity. It's going to be quite sweet. And first and foremost, my name is Alan. I'm the regional sales manager for JSBIT. And welcome to Mining Disrupt 2022. It's actually my first time here, so with a show of hands, who here calls Miami their home? Have a, who's from here? I, I see. Okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, it surely won't be my last because I was told that they want to make Miami the crypto capital of the world. Is, is this correct? Okay, okay. All right, well, it surely won't be my last. See, I'm still coming off the high that was 2021 and 2020. We got to witness Bitcoin's incredible growth and the adoption of crypto worldwide. But I feel like I'd be doing a disservice if we didn't talk about the elephant in the room, or in this case, a bear. It goes without saying that 2022 thus far has been difficult for some. Depending on when you got in and when you started, if you took profits or if you held, you're in a different place. But we, we at JSBIT have been doing everything in our power to take advantage of these opportunities that we have ahead. We're doing this by crafting critical partnerships with many like you here today. And of course, it's important that we avoid the fear that comes with the negative news cycles that we see on a daily basis. The uncertainty that we all feel is quite difficult in times of a bear market, and the doubt that we all have within ourselves is one of the most personal things that I felt while in the crypto industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about FUD. And it's my key idea that today we focus on the patterns that we've seen in the past, the opportunities that we have now, and having a sense of urgency as to why this very moment is crucial for anybody truly taking advantage of crypto. Now, without sounding too preachy, I'm going to look a little bit at some data, some graphs, some information. To start off, we're going to look at this Antminer S19 Pro. It's 110 terahashes, and back in May 10th, 2021, it was offered for $136 per terahash. One year later, it dropped to $38 per terahash, while many see disappointment, we see opportunity. This graph takes us to 2018. The blue shows the Bitcoin average mining cost, whereas the yellow is the Bitcoin. What we can see here is those that mine during bull runs can see huge advantages when the bear markets come. So those who take some healthy profits can make it through through the next upcoming bear market, which happens to be now. You use these time periods to grow and you use these periods to advance yourself for the next bull market. Which leads me to the question, is the current crypto price really on a dip? And I'm seeing a nod. I'm, I'm going to ask one of you. Anybody here want to tell me yes or no? Uh, I see a bunch of nods, a bunch of yeses. That's okay. Because truly, the answer is depends on where you're at. To some of you, you got in at the $38 per terahash. Some of you are still holding on to some $136 per terahash. That's okay. The answer is, it depends where you are. Which leads me to someone who I follow quite a bit on Twitter. His name is Plan B. And he creates some wonderful graphs and information. One of the things we're going to look at is the 200 weekly moving average. To simplify this, so not go too deep, the 200 weekly moving average just talks about how Bitcoin is moving and the average of where it should be, not where it currently is. And to simplify that even further, let's take a look at this graph. 
We're going to focus on the blue dots and that black line. The blue dots show us that we've been under the 200 weekly moving average twice before a pattern. That pattern teaches us that each and every time we've gone under the 200 weekly moving average and they've been getting shorter. We're going to talk about those time frames later, but there's one thing to note. After we exit the blue parts, which would be under the 200 weekly moving average, we see higher highs than we've ever seen before. And I do apologize if I bring any PTSD to any longtime holders, but we are going to look at some Bitcoin history. And with a show of hands, who's been in Bitcoin since 2013, 14? Anybody here? Okay. Not that many. Okay, okay. You guys all sold, clearly. Oh, if you are here, I'd love to be on your yacht later. Let's move into 2014 and 2015. There, we witnessed one of the true tests for Bitcoin. It went from $900 down to two. That's when many said we weren't going to see any more growth, when it was dead. I only heard whispers at the time of what Bitcoin was and what many wanted it to be. But I, too, didn't really pay attention, and I thought it'd be dead. Moving into 2018 and 2019, I can remember like if it was just yesterday. One of my professors showed us a graph just like this, but not as finished. He said, what do you guys know of this? One, one student in that college classroom said, well, that's Bitcoin. If this was 2018 and 2019, imagine that. The professor, he called it funny money. Everybody laughed and thought, what? What is this all about? For Robert, the one kid that stood up, he said, that's going to be something. It's going to change the financial future for many, and the technology around it is insane. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what started me on the path. The path to understanding the technology and the financial future that is having a crypto really take control. No longer needing someone in the middle to do the transactions for you. Which brings me to my first ever bear market that I dealt with. And may, many here may have experienced the same thing. I remember putting in a couple thousand, getting some miners. And then on one faithful day, it all went kaput. I lost a lot of faith that day. It really hurt, but I had no real history to look at before that. So ladies and gentlemen, this takes me to the crypto winter today. And I'm going to quote a gentleman by the name of Chad. Uh, he, he runs uh, Rock, I believe, uh, one, of the, one of the largest uh, crypto companies out there. He was out at the summit in Texas, and we were talking about it, and he mentioned how he loves a $20,000 Bitcoin. And I thought to myself, why is that? Why would he say that? But everybody went crazy when he said it. But looking back at the history, at the graphs, at the times before, you can truly see why he would say that. If you were in since the early 2013 or 14, this is an amazing opportunity. In fact, you didn't believe it could ever be here. But of course, if last year was the first bear market that you experienced the fall, it does seem like the end. So to quote Chad, I'm going to say, I too love me a $20,000 Bitcoin. We're not going to go too deep into this graph. We're going to focus on one key aspect. This is called the spent price ratio. Incredible way to look it up. It's the long-term holders versus the short-term holders. What we see here is that twice before, at the histories and the dates that we've seen, in 2014, we experienced a 308-day-long, well, year-long bear market. In 2018 and 19, 174 day-long bear market. Thus far, as of this specific graph, we've been in the bear market for 10 days. It's actually been more like 30 or 40, but we digress. Which leads me to a bold prediction, something that we believe, because we're incredibly bullish on Bitcoin, on mining, and on crypto as a whole. We predict that in the upcoming days, in fact, 200 days, we could see Bitcoin 
clear, $200,000. And I could see some nods, some what's, but we believe. And we clearly, oh, I see some guy over there, <laughs> thank you. We know that it could reach this level based off the information given thus far. So why not start or expand your mining farm? What a better time to take advantage of the opportunity of a lowered price. And more importantly, we all got into this industry for a multitude of reasons, financial, technological, or just a way to help your country or your people enter a world of financial freedom that a lot of us take advantage of. Because it's so clear that all of us are so early into this industry, statistically speaking, we could be mining till 2143. And as we see the potential, the growth, where we've come from, and to look back at the graphs, they're only about 10 years into the making. So I was asking a lot of you yesterday, in fact, what are some issues you faced while looking for services for your minor hardware needs? A lot of you gave me a lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts, and I thank you because we found out one of the biggest issues a lot of us were having were the scams and the bad actors that we find in the industry. Going on LinkedIn, Craigslist, OfferUp, Facebook, having to deal with Dogecoin lover 117 who still owes you a miner from two years ago, but I digress. Having someone who can repair the miners that they sell to you used. It's very difficult to find not only someone who could sell you a good new one, but what about one that's used and that you can trust? The ability to resell your miners. For whatever reason you may have, you may have to upgrade. Maybe you're making a change. Maybe you're paying your third wife's alimony so you make it sold. It's difficult to make that happen in these days. The logistics is one of the biggest issues that some of you have been telling me about. Waiting three to four months for a product to arrive at your doorstep. Having to pay these heavy fees just so I can get to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, fear not, because JS Bit is here. And you might be asking, why JS Bit? Who is this guy and what can he do for me? Well, thank you for asking. We're a trusted U.S. support team. It's clear that a lot of the mining and the needs for many are here in the U.S. There's been rigorous changes around the globe when it comes to crypto, but JSBit has done everything to help you thus far. We're a supplier of brand new miners, making sure that you get the best quality ASICs and making sure that it's trusted by the manufacturers who make them. We're a reliable and global logistics service who offer professional methods for you to receive any ASICs that you purchase from us. The global sales service is impeccable. Many of you I've come to find are from different parts of the world, and that is amazing. That's why we offer services to you as well. We have our own repair and test center for those used miners that we have so that you can feel comfortable knowing that professionals took a look at your, at your miner, took a look at the one you're gonna get in the future, and making sure you get the best quality at the end. So I ask all of you, what should we do during this crypto winter? And I've asked many, and the answers were amazing. Some felt great about the current opportunity. Some were a little bit lost. So I'm gonna take a quote from a gentleman known as Rob Howarth. He said, keep in mind that we're likely to experience market ups and downs. Regardless and over time, markets are shown an ability to recover. And I agree, like many of you here. And the fact is, two weeks can feel like two years in the crypto world. 20% can go up in a day, it can go down that same night. So why not? Innovate and adapt. Take advantage of the moment. Learn new ways to find renewable resources. Find partnerships that make a difference. Partnerships like JSBIT. We're here to assist no matter what those needs may be. And let's push through another bear market. And ultimately the question is, how can JSBIT help you? 
realize your financial future, and make it for the next bull run. You can find us at Booth 62. We have some amazing games for you to play. We have some great reps that are amazing. They love to speak to every single one of you. The games include like a cash queue, which is really dope. We also have like a, a little wheel that's amazing, super fun actually. And you get a chance to win a new S19. So get you started from that minor if you haven't already. And thank you, you can follow us on our Telegram. We're ready to assist, booth 62. And hopefully you guys have an incredible minor disrupt. Thank you so much, appreciate you all.